By now we already know that human rights are rights possessed by every human being. But how can we access these rights? Where can we find evidence that these rights have been formally recognized by states? And how are these rights implemented? The protection of human rights started at local and national level and then is ensured at regional and at global level. There are many sources for human rights protection than international law. International law governs the relation between states and covers a wide variety of topics such as trade, security, diplomacy, culture, human rights and so on. Under human rights international law, states are binding themselves together for the respect of individual human rights on their territory. Each treaty and international organization might establish procedures in case the treaty provisions are violated. States have four responsibilities in relation to human rights. First is to respect. It means that states should do nothing to violate human rights of the individual. Then to protect. They should ensure that human rights of the individual are protected through laws and other measures and that there is a solution in case of violations. Third is to fulfill. For some rights, it is important that states help individuals to enjoy their rights. For example, for the right to adequate housing, states might need to invest in building residences. And the last one is to promote. States need to make sure that people know about their rights. At the global level, the International Bill of Human Rights contains core documents for the protection of human rights. They are complemented by a wealth of conventions, treaties and recommendations. They cover specific issues such as torture or crime against humanity. Some instruments recognize the human rights of specific groups. Why specific groups? Special protections had to be put in place because of previous cases of discrimination against specific groups. Mostly these groups are vulnerable groups such as minorities, children, refugees, women, women or pe people with disabilities. And what about Europe? Does a human rights protection system exist? In fact, yes. Europe has a well-established system within the Council of Europe for the protection of human rights. The Council of Europe with its 47 member states has played a key role in the promotion of human rights in Europe. The main human rights instrument is the European Convention on the Protection of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms, adopted in 1950. The implementation of the convention is the condition to even become a member of the Council of Europe. Other instruments exist for the protection of human rights at the United Nations level. And other independent bodies, such as the European Commission Against Racism and, in and Intolerance, are supporting the monitoring of human rights in Europe. Also, there are new concerns at the European level with the development of the Internet. A guide on the human rights for Internet users has been developed recently. It helps us learn about human rights online, there are possible limitations and available solutions for such and limitations. Last but not least, Europe is the only place in the world with a transnational human rights court that has a compulsory jurisdiction. For instance, individuals can go to the court to make a complaint against states in case of violation of their human rights. Nevertheless, even if such a court exists, there's still a lot to be done so that people are aware of their rights and know to defend them.